Okay everyone, so I'm coming to you today with my very first grocery haul. I went to Publix, which is where I usually shop. Sometimes I go to Winn-Dixie, but today I just went to Publix. And I had a list of the things that I needed to get, although I didn't have a set menu plan. Um, but I, I did have a list, and I did my best to stick to it. However, I made the biggest mistake that you can make when you go to Publix. I mean, when you go grocery shopping in general, and that is to go hungry. So I have a few uh, impulse buys as well, but I'm going to go ahead and, and start and show you guys what we got. Um, so my daughter asked me for some of these Latinos pizza rolls, and she likes the triple cheese flavor. I got her some White Castle cheeseburgers. She likes those for after school, and she also asked for some Hot Pockets. And um, I got some garlic bread. The Alexia brand is our favorite. We usually have that when we make any sort of pasta or Italian meal. I got some Goya uh, fried plantains. We usually have these when we have any sort of uh, Hispanic dish. And I got our trusty Eglin's Best Eggs. And my daughter also wanted these Oreo cookies. Those are her absolute favorite. She had one. Um, I got some cherries. These were on sale. Some California cherries. I got these two salads. They were buy one, get one free. The Bistro Asian Style Chicken and the Caesar Salad. The chicken Caesar salad, sorry. I got some shreds because I'm going to make tacos later in the week. Um, I got a green pepper, some four, four tomatoes, four limes. They're really expensive right now. They're like 50 cents a piece. It's ridiculous. I got some a rocket. Um, I got ch Chiquita bananas, some carrots, a piece of pumpkin, which I usually add to my chicken soup. I got a container of the baked potato salad from the deli, delicious. I got these little um, breakfast burritos, they're really, really good, they're fattening, but I couldn't help myself. I, I had them on the list, I promise, they're just a real lifesaver. Um, I got our usual 2% milk uh, American cheese slices. I got some Gouda cheese from the deli, um, and I got some boar's head sweet sliced ham. I got some brown beef for the tacos some um what is it stir fry yeah stir fry strips i'm gonna make some pepper steak some pork chops and some chicken wings i got red potatoes some tort barilla pasta tortellini the three cheese um, variety i got some white bread we usually buy the dandy giant i got some oh get back here some taco shells I usually get the whole kit, but this time I only got the, the shells because it brought 18 and I already have the taco sauce. So I also got some of this taco seasoning to add to the meat. And I got some Aunt Jemima original pancake uh, mix. I got some grapefruit juice that we usually drink. We were out of soy sauce, so I got the Kikkoman soy sauce. Some onion powder some cream of asparagus soup that's my favorite one some home style baked beans which we're probably going to have when we make the hamburgers or the chicken wings not sure yet i also got some of this uh craft sandwich spread that my husband really likes um, as a snack from time to time i got some um organic applesauce from publix that one's really good i got some sliced pimentos to put in some um, ground beef like picadillo a recipe that i'm gonna that I'm gonna do. I usually do it every once in a while. I got this um, Bumblebee Sensations Spicy Thai Chili, like tuna, like a tuna little snack pack. I'm gonna try it out. Heard it was good. Let's see. Um, I also got some mild cheddar cheese. It was on sale for the tacos. I got some of these angel hair um, pasta for the chicken feet. Some sour cream from Publix. Publix brand. Um, I got some hamburger buns for the hamburgers. And this, oh, actually, this goes over here. Let me explain that in a sec. Um, I already told you about the taco seasoning. Um, I'm going to try this Tazo uh, Passion Sweet Tea. It's going to um, be a recipe I'm going to try out that I saw on another YouTuber's um, page I believe so when I try that out I'm probably gonna make a video on it or I'll just post an Instagram pic and and put the links in there 
Um, and then I got some of my favorite sponges, the kitchen sponges that we do the dishes with. They're the Ocello brand, and they have the, um, like the really scratchy side on one end, and then the really soft one on the other, and those are my absolute favorite. And I needed my very favorite cosmetic rounds, the ones that I used to put my toner on. And I got two packs of those, one for me, one for my daughter. And yeah, that's it. Now, there were some impulse buys, I'm not going to lie to you. Like I said, you know, I was hungry. So I went ahead and got these Entenmann's chocolate chip cookies. Um, I also got some bubble burgers that are going to serve. Um, these are the Angus beef ones. They're going to serve as one of our meals this week or maybe next week. Um, I got some Cheez-Its. They were BOGO, the regular flavor. And I also uh, got the hot and spicy so that we can try that one out. And I was in the mood for some vinegar potatoes, potato chips. So I got the um, Cape Cod salt and vinegar flavor. And well, that's it, guys. That's what I, that's what I got today. It's a little crazy. Our fridge was completely empty. I went over budget, but I'm still within my uh, budget for the month. Uh, we usually budget about $400 for four of us. And I hadn't done any groceries yet. Well, I did some earlier in the month, but I still had some money left over from the previous month. So, um, yeah, I spent $200 and a few cents. I didn't hit the 201 mark. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I still have enough money to make it through the month, and I'm probably going to have some left over for next month once again. So that's what I got. Big span it right here so you guys can see everything. And, well, yeah, so that's the first of um, what I got at Publix.